Well, hello there, all my poor people. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back, as the case may be. Uh, sorry for my absence lately. I mean, I know I have been pay, uh, posting my Musical Mondays, but there haven't really been any painting videos. Um, I've been a little bit um, uninspired. Um, I've had to... Sounds terrible. Um, no, I've gotten to work lately, which is nice, uh, because with the whole pandemic, it's nice to be... Um, working again so I have less time um, I did have some bad news recently as well I uh, part of a or I was part of a, a painting group uh, a little you know painting collective and uh, it was nice because we did collaborations together and chatted together and uh, yeah unfortunately uh, one of the members uh, really yeah hurt my feelings attacked me now they think they didn't but I and several other people disagree. That's not important. Uh, my philosophy is, you know, if you if you accidentally bump into someone on the street, you didn't mean to bump in them and knock them down. But even if you didn't mean to do it, you say, oh, I'm sorry, are you okay? I, I'm sorry. You apologize. And if you can't bring yourself to do that, then I go, you're probably not the person I thought you were. I can't, you know, trust you. And um, that really, really hurt me. Uh, and that person also then uh, hurt my, yeah, the person in that group that I really, really loved. And now that person is not speaking to me either. So I lost uh, someone I trusted and I lost a very, very good friend. And uh, uh, because of that, I really, you know, kind of felt abandoned. And um, I also just felt like not painting anymore. I mean, I got a little depressed. I was even thinking about, you know, just deleting the channel and just forgetting all about it. Uh, luckily, some lovely uh, people really helped bring me back. Uh, Rick and Seville, you've been very encouraging uh, along the way. Thank you so much. Uh, Katie, you've just been a incredible, like a kick-in-the-butt kind of mother. Um, I've gotten some sweet messages from some of the ladies in the group as well, which is nice. And uh, Dave, uh, artist or teacher in... Uh, the States, who uh, has really been a big supporter of mine, and now that the school year started, he has introduced his art students to uh, acrylic pouring using my videos, and I'm, yeah, I gained quite a few subscribers, and I just realized, it's like, I have to make a decision. I have to move on, or I just have to stop, and um, now I love it too much. I'm not going to let anyone uh, uh, bring me down. I'm not going to let, you know, a broken trust or broken heart or anything stop me. I've worked too hard, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, I apologize for being gone for so long, and I promise I'm going to get started soon. Uh, speaking of that, getting started soon, uh, I am going to be doing a custom piece, a big piece for my friend Gina. I think I've spoken about that already, but because of that, I had to make some changes, including putting some more protective flooring down in my studio and finding a support system for my camera so I could get higher and filmed down onto the floor because this canvas uh, 80 by 120 is so big I can't do it on my table. Uh, so while I'm preparing and get everything ready, now that the studio is ready, uh, I'm going to prepare the canvas. But I thought, hey, a lot of people have asked me about my studio and where I paint. And I know a lot of people just, you know, paint at their kitchen tables. And I mean, I see videos of people with like just plastic uh, everywhere as well. And I've been fortunate enough that... Um, uh, after my divorce, the house that I got has, yeah, I'm going to even literally say too much room uh, for me. But yeah, I had to I had to get something and it's turned out to be a blessing because the whole upper floor, uh, I've been able to turn into my studio. I'm taking you all the way up to my attic, which is my studio, starting from the bottom of the stairs. Enjoy uh, my studio. And this is the landing up to the attic, which I call the studio. Uh, you'll notice here on the wall, one of the first things, there is a lattice piece here with some pouring on it. But this was part of a mirror, actually. And I still have the rest of it. The problem was the paint did not adhere very well to that plastic. So I'm going to clean this and pour it again but 
it's hanging on a nail right now. This is where I photograph all my pieces. And I don't have my lighting set up for that right now, but I do have some side lighting and some misty lighting from behind so I can get good pictures. Uh, that's where the magic takes place. Now, part of my studio upstairs is just storage from my move posters, stuff I'm going to sell. And then here you get the first inkling. Ah, that's the lid to the garbage because I just took that out. But my painting box, uh, the chair I sit in with my mix, uh, when I mix, everyone knows my famous orange shirt. Back here is uh, Christmas decorations and some collectibles. But here up front, there are some vases. Uh, some actually have a little bit of painting on them, but you'll see here these plateaus and trays and tissue boxes and cutting boards. That's all stuff that I can uh, pour on. Right now, my rags and towels are drying, but here's where I usually keep those. My little air conditioning unit. Uh, these are plastic spoons that I've washed because I like to recycle everything. That vase is going to be part of this big pour I'm doing. These are the colors and the notes uh, on paper of the pour that's coming up. And these were from my Christmas pour. Still have to put them away. In this corner, you'll see all my canvases. There's a huge one there. Yeah, a couple nice ones. These, I already know what I'm going to do with them. For those of you that remember my Christmas piece, the window, I still have to resin that but those are the lattices and a couple of pores there that I wasn't really happy with again some more sizes this is kind of like my station table with the stuff that I usually have stirring sticks water little tools uh, tape uh, gloves up there's my mixing cups everything that I need now this is actually just a washing machine but I have it leveled off at the bottom so if i need it's an extra drying station uh actually i can get a 50 by 50 centimeter or 20 by 20 up on top there uh, in the back there there's some uh, easels and packing material uh, and then here are paintings that are larger than 50 centimeters um some of this one's i think 30 by 110 they're all stored in here wrapped up alphabetically some really big ones there. Here's my table. This is where most of the magic happens. I got some new colors for the pour that I'm doing. These, actually, I have an interesting plan for those for this big pour. My pouring box usually goes into the table. Uh, some glue, my garbage can. Here is my lovely selection of uh, paints. I've been moving stuff around. This is stuff I'm giving away. This, uh, yeah, Poseidon's Lantern, one of my favorite pieces from uh, this summer, uh, replaced this in the bedroom. Um, I have just some extra supplies. And back here are all my smaller uh, paintings, smaller than 50 centimeters or 20 inches. Again, all stored and in boxes, uh, alphabetical order. My Christmas stuff is currently off to the side because uh, if you sneak around the corner, you'll see those red ones are painted. They just need some touch up. And these green ones, that's actually how they came. So I still have to do those. My Lola Fefe mat needs to be washed. And I have some tools here and a step ladder because normally, oh, here's my uh, hanging here are my, my hair dryer, my heating gun uh, up here. Oh, it's not there. Why? Oh, because I brought it downstairs for resin. Uh, is my here's this little place here is where I keep my uh, my torch. This is the massive work light that I use if I need like to flood this place with light. I also turn it and use it on that wall there. Now, actually, my cameras, uh, these wires here, or sorry, these chains here, are just hanging here by these hooks, and I put them like this. I open them up, and my iPad goes right in there. I bought these lights because I can easily uh, turn them. Strangely enough, the more you turn them away, the brighter the light gets. Watch, I'll turn them away, and it actually causes more light because it's reflecting off there. And this is loose right now, but this is my side camera where I put my phone in. So you know the shots sometimes come like this. 
that's what I use that for. Now, this floor uh, is carpeted when I came in to rent, and I had from that back corner up till this, no, sorry, this tape line was covered, but I added this extra whole strip here because of the big piece I'm gonna be doing. This table's gonna move off to the side, garbage is gonna go here, and I'm gonna be working here. Uh, that piece is 80 by 120, uh, and I just decided to use my same system again, and you can see already, there he is, my iPad, I just tested him out, hanging. He's not straight. Uh, but I'll fix that. I was just getting that up there. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the tour of my studio. Uh, and it's now ready to put some plastic sheeting on the ground. Well, not quite yet, because I have to prep Gina's frame. Uh, but I don't want to just pour straight on this, because you can see some of it's not taped. I don't want it to leak. This is just like my main protective surface, but because I'm going to be pouring on the ground, I will put a piece of plastic sheeting down. Hope you enjoyed this tour, and we'll see you very soon as we start using some of these wonderful red colors in this massive 80 by 120 centimeter piece. See you soon.